of the app is called DJI Virtual Flight. And upon starting, we get three options. So maybe let's try the first option because I have my goggles and first generation controller. Let's see if those work. And it says connect uh, the goggles to the phone or in this case to the tablet. I have lightning to USB adapter. We can plug that. And I'm not sure that it's recognized. So I'm pretty sure that the goggles now are connected properly to the iPad, but it does not appear since these are generation one goggles. So let's go back and select that we are, will be playing just uh, or like on a smartphone. And as you can see, the whole interface is not even designed for the iPod. Everything is done to run on the iPhone. Yaw controls the horizontal rotation of the aircraft's nose. Pitch controls the upward and downward movement of the aircraft's nose. When cruise control is enabled, the aircraft will fly forward while maintaining its current speed even if pitch is recentered. This one goes forward and this one is your steering wheel. So it's really like a computer game. And not uh, actual TV drone. Which might be a good thing. Because everyone, pretty much everyone knows how to play computer games and Flying DJI FPV in a sport mode is exactly like a playing a game on your phone. Okay, so it seems we have only two maps, factory and stadium. Oh, and my app just crashed. I can put cruise mode and now pretty much control the drone with one finger. Yeah, so really the sport mode is like super easy to fly. But since it's so easy to fly, we are limited to basically what we can do. We cannot dive, for example, this hull because we simply do not have controls to, like, you know, pitch the drone and make a dive. So let's try to switch to manual controls and see what happens. And actually we are flying in acro mode. It's not only manual but real acro mode.
Yeah, so we should. We can crash the drone. <laughs> Let's try sport mode. Let's go outside. And then we will switch to the acro. Okay, we have like yeah, if, if it's how a real drone flies, uh, I think there will be a lot of upset customers. And it allows to take off in manual mode, just, uh, just a catastrophe waiting to happen. Okay, so let's gain some altitude. Let's turn hover and let's switch to the manual mode. So it says move the sticks and make sure it stays in a green area. Okay, so now we are in a manual mode. And it's uh, actually pretty annoying to uh, to play it on a touch screen, but because I cannot feel the uh, sticks. But yeah, let's try to make some flips. And yeah, you can you can fly like a, a real FPV drone. Let's try an Astro. Yeah, but to, uh, to properly train in a manual mode, you really need a controller because it's really uh, annoying to play on a touch screen. But in the normal and sport modes, it's flying the GI FPV is so easy that you can even fly the drone with one finger on your smartphone. Let's see how fast we can go in a sports mode. This is meters in seconds, so it's hard to tell how much kilometers per hour we are pushing now. I think we are going pretty fast. <laughs> and I wonder does this drone has sensors to avoid uh, collisions like this? Or that does not work in a sport mode? Or that does not work in this uh, simulator? Let's try normal mode and see if this will help with uh, avoiding collision. Nope. <laughs> I 
So I'm not entirely sure what's the difference between the normal and uh, and sport modes because the only difference I can see that in a sport mode you can uh, maybe go at the higher speed and uh, have that uh, cruise mode button but as far as the control goes it doesn't seem that the uh, normal mode would be any different yeah it's just the only difference that I need to uh, keep uh, uh, pitch uh, uh, stick uh, keep it forward to continue moving or if I release the sticks it's like a regular DJI drone it just instantly breaks and uh, hovers in spot yeah and going to a site does not roll but it really flies like a DJI camera drone with a, uh, with a gimbal where we are going to the site is just going uh, to the site without any roll and uh, the left stick is just for turning so again you can uh, fly with two sticks just like in a video game or with a DJI camera drone and I imagine flying with the goggles yeah I can totally see how this could be used for shooting videos and uh, you know flying in a tighter spaces uh, like this garage where definitely you do not want to fly your DJI Mavic or you know similar drone because it's pretty hard to fly those camera drones in tight spaces but with DJI FPV drone I mean I could even fly that thing with, uh, with one finger like we put it in a in a sport mode we set our constant speed and now I can control it simply with one finger and just enjoy the flying and this could be like really a, a game changer for uh, shooting drone videos for example if we need to chase a car in a garage or pull some fancy shot I do not need to worry about my altitude I do not need to worry about anything, I just set the, uh, the movement speed and control the drone with one finger. And I can always uh, make it a little slower, a little faster again. Just so easy. Like, I, I'm flying this app for the first time and I'm testing this. Uh, new DJI FPV drone for the first time like I have no experience uh, from before flying uh, this type of drone because I have flown only DJI uh, camera drones and uh, regular FPV drones and just in a couple of minutes I'm professional pilot of a DJI FPV drone so yeah this, this is really really cool and I think I might even uh, even buy a DJI uh, FPV drone simply because I use my uh, my FPV drones for shooting videos the GoPros and etc and if DJI has included a decent camera, especially on a gimbal with a FPV model, I think it's totally worth uh, every dollar we are asking for. It. The only question is the manual mode because uh, it did not seem to fly like a regular FPV drone but again it might be just because I'm controlling the drone on my iPad on a touch screen and not on a sticks and again I'm flying uh, on a screen not in a goggles uh, again that's different experience 
uh, flying king goggles and on the iPad. But yeah, I can definitely see how this could be a great tool for any filmmaker who wants more dynamic uh, shots. And usually they had to hire like experienced FPV pilot to chase cars and do these fancy shots flying through buildings. But now you can see you uh, well, if you are comfortable with a DJI camera drone, you can learn to fly with the FPV model in just, you know, a few days maximum. Maybe get comfortable even in a few hours, even minutes. So yeah, this is uh, the first look at the DJI uh, FPV flight simulator and there's the Jaya PV drone, and yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Now it's it's disappointing that the uh, Jaya you now decided to uh, screw the customer's own like first generation goggles and remote control. And uh, if you want to get the new drone, you you cannot get just the drone. You need to uh, buy the whole set the uh, goggles remote and everything again on the other hand if you can use the new remote with uh, regular FPV drones like I'm using first generation remote uh, I might be selling my goggles and my remote and uh, upgrading to a second generation and getting the new DJI FPV drone at the same time too. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next one.